Hello everyone, we are on day eight of 21 days, uh, sorry, day nine, day nine of 21 days to receiving good. And um, I wanted to do today, um, I heard from someone and um, I'm sharing this with you and she's free to reveal herself if she wants to, but she was talking about the other day, she noticed that she was walking around really berating herself ceaselessly. And then she was walking in a park and she heard, I'm actually going to pay attention to this, she, she heard um, there was a g guy sitting on a bench and he walks by, when she walked by he said, I'm reading it, he said, you are beautiful and you will become more and more beautiful as each day passes. And she said it totally made her stop berating herself and she's like, you know, you talk about asking for a sign and boom there it is so that's what I wanted to I have her permission to share this but I want if she wants to share her name she can so I thought this is the perfect thing to do today is note asking for a sign and noticing the signs when they come and it really does work um, especially when if you think about like surrendering um, turning things over when you're you're so frustrated it's a practice it's not something that just happens overnight it's like that's why I sometimes in what I call the offering surrendering stage mine sometimes is please free me from my fearful doubtful mistrusting mind free free me from that because I I do all these things in spade free me from my self self-punishment, self-berating. And I need a sign like a flag flapping in my face. That I used to say stuff like I need a two by four in the face, but that's too brutal. I was like, no, I want a, like a flag flapping in my face, like the big neon sign that's in front of me. And and um, I think it's so awesome. She's like, you know, you talk about asking for a sign and here I am in the middle of catching myself, berating myself, and this man says this to me and it stops me in my tracks. And then it allowed her to realize that that critical voice was her mother's voice. So um, to me, asking for a sign is huge. And, and do it in the most authentic way that you know how to. If it's, I don't trust that I'll even get a sign. Like I'm asking for a sign, but I don't even trust that I'll get a sign. So I need a sign so freaking obvious to me that somebody that's so doubtful like me can notice it. I think that's that's so authentic and that's so awesome to to ask for it that way it's meeting yourself exactly where you're at like i don't doubt i don't trust i do doubt i i do live in fear a lot so for someone like me who feels all these things so potently i need something obvious that will help me be a step closer to believing that i can trust the signs so um i'm gonna let's do some tapping karate chop even though I have such a doubtful mind. I have such a mistrusting mind. I have such a fearful mind. I choose to acknowledge I feel this way. Even though I've spent so much time doubting, so much of my life afraid, so much time not trusting. And then I judge myself for that. I choose to accept myself anyway now. Even though I need a sign. <laughs> like a really, really obvious sign. Like a big fat neon sign. I need that kind of sign. If I'm supposed to trust my life to something greater than myself, I have a lot of doubt and fear to overcome. And I want to want to trust. But I need a really obvious sign. I accept myself anyway now. I need a sign that's so obvious because I've spent so much time not trusting, so much time in fear and doubt. 
I have so much momentum going. Fearing and doubting that I really need a sign. A really obvious sign. Something that I'll get, that I'll understand, that I'll know it when I see it. And I have felt so bad about all my doubt. So bad about all my fear. So bad about all my lack of trust. God knows I came by it naturally. <laughs> it was programmed into me through my environment. But I've been so exhausted in my human experience believing that I've got to figure it all out. I've got to make it happen. And that's exhausting. And I really want to want to believe that there's a better, easier way. <laughs> but I don't right now. And I know I've judged the hell out of myself for that. So help me, <laughs> guide me, send me a sign, send me a sign so obvious that I have this feeling when I see it. Boom, there it is. That's exactly what I needed. And that sign can take me one step closer to believing my life can be easier, that I can receive divine inspiration, that I can learn to live my life as somewhat of a daily prayer. Constantly turning things over when I feel tripped up and learning to trust and believe that the answers I need will come to me with ease. But right now, my doubtful fearful, mistrusting mind needs a sign so clear that when I see it, it's boom, there it is. And I even doubt that. So I really need some help and belief here. And I really want to feel my life can be easier, more relaxed. But send me that sign, so obvious, that I go, boom, there it is, and take a breath. So this has been my process with this, and I, I do find it's, honestly, it's exciting. Um, it's becoming more relaxing. Do I still have fear? Do I still have doubt? Do I still mistrust? Oh, hell yeah. But I see that that's a process too. And the more you can practice this, like, give me a sign. I need a sign so obvious. I mean, I've just done my best to meet myself exactly where I'm at. Like I'm in fear and doubt. Like I don't trust this. God knows I want to, but I haven't. 
that's to me the art of surrendering, the art of letting go, the art of turning things over is just the, the truth, the truth of, oh my gosh, I don't trust right now. I've had so much momentum going in this way. So send me a sign so obvious that I will literally go, boom, there it is. And honestly, when I do this, it's, it, it, I get it. I get the sign. And, and that momentum is just continues to build for, oh my God, so much of the fear and doubt and mistrust that I've had, I, I, here's how I would say it. That momentum has slowed down. And the momentum of, oh wow, this really is, my life is supposed to get better and better and be easier and easier. I'm getting more and more evidence of that. So anyway, I wanted to share that. It was so cool to hear that story about, you know, she's catching herself in self-berating and it's epic self-berating and then walking to the park and this is what the guy says and she's like, boom, there it is. So try it and I would love to hear you could post it in this thread. If you do that and you get the sign, post it under this video and this thread so we can all share in that um, kind of goodness and wonder. And I'll, I'll give you another one of my signs is more recently. So this house that we're moving into, the couple um, that we're, we've bought the house off of, they're super cool and we're really becoming friends with them and they're actually helping us connect us to the community in this town that we're moving to. And, and the most fascinating thing is, it seems like every week my husband will get a text from them, hey, because they're moving this week out, um, and, and they're like, hey, we have this piece of furniture, we really don't know where we're moving, do you guys want it? If not, we'll donate it. And we're like, oh, hell yes. Because I'm working on that being wildly open to receiving more and more good. So um, I'm getting so much evidence of that in that way. So would love to hear anybody's stories of signs that you see if you ask. And even if you're like, I don't even know how to ask, just meet yourself where you're at and, and see what's possible. That's it. Bye for now. We'll see you tomorrow on day 10. We've hit double digits.